Uganda is endowed with rainfall from 500 mm up to 2,200 mm. This gift of nature is limited to some regions, while other regions are dry, which leaves about 60% of the population unable to access safe water. These communities suffer poor sanitation-related illnesses, while many households are forced to move distances in search for water during the dry weather. In rural areas where 88% of the population live, water coverage is lower than urban areas. The available water supply sources are protected springs, boreholes, protected wells, and gravity flow schemes. Geographical and climatic factors of many regions have strained access to water for domestic and production. Government and partners have intervened through creation of emergency water reservoirs where communities can access water during scarcity. The Network for Water and Sanitation, Uganda, NETWAS, a non-government organization, is one of the civil society organizations which has intervened to advocate for good water and sanitation practices. It has complimented the Minister of Water and Environment to maintain water sustainability and preservation in regions of water scarcity. Thus, the implementation of rainwater harvesting technology. <laughs> Before we got the tank, we used to fetch water from a swamp, sharing water with animals. The problem is we contracted disease as a result of using that dirty water. Uh, from the beginning, people used to walk uh, long distances looking for clean water, but now they can access water within their household premises. Actually, the, I would say, where the community actually where these people worked to is a water stressed community. Communities have carried out undeveloped traditional forms of water harvesting over time where water containers could be tied around tree stems during rain and water collects. As a result, this water harvesting system cannot sustain a household for long. Families are forced to move long distances for water. They end up fetching water from unsafe water sources like streams, swamps, wells for domestic use. The situation is challenging during the dry season. Most water sources dry up, leaving households vulnerable with no optional source of water supply. Hence, Netwas Uganda with local partners, Uganda Muslim Rural Development Association, UMDA, Community Welfare and Services, Rakai, Koesa, and Joint Effort to Save Environment, Jesse, have supported household initiatives in the districts of Bugiri, Kamwenge, and Rakai. In the Bugiri district, water scarcity was uh, approximately 30% compared to the national percentage of 61%. But in the selected sub-counties, it was below 24%. So there was really a very big problem of water, simply because many of the technologies do not work like boreholes, the water is very deep, shallow wells can easily dry up quickly. That's the problem which was there. It was really a very big problem. Africa Water Facility, AWF, and Africa Development Bank, ADB, funded the project. Launched in 2007 with the aim of demonstrating to communities and increasing water supply through rainwater harvesting technology. At household level, we were promoting a 6,000 litre tank capacity. And at the institutional level, these are churches, health units, schools, primary schools, would promote 10,000 litre capacity tank. But in some of these households, you'd find in a household a person has a farm of cattle and other animals maybe is having piggery farm or poultry farm they would demand for a higher capacity tank beyond 6,000. What we would recommend with them is that we would give the materials worth the 6,000 litre tank and they would co-fund. One of 
the key elements of this project. One, it was going to promote the issue of management. We have very many rainwater tanks that are monuments within the country because of poor management of the tanks. So the component of management raised a lot of excitement among the district local governments. Communities and institutions to benefit from the project support were identified, sensitized on the best practices in sustaining water tanks, formed groups and mobilized construction material, and their monetary contribution as required by an agreement. Fisheries contributed 40%, and this 40% included cash contribution of 120,000 shillings, and oh, it also included local materials like uh, sand, bricks, water, and even the porters, and even the accommodation for the men. Netwas recruited local masons and women groups to operate the construction work, trained them in construction techniques repair and maintenance of the rainwater harvesting tanks. I started constructing water tanks after being contracted as a woman organization to Kolebukozi Association, trained and contracted by Amda to do the job. I have constructed over 30 tanks in this village and people have appreciated a lot but many do not have money to build more, and yet the donors are no longer funding the project. The work was profitable. Many Manson's livelihoods changed because of the skill and salaries they received. I have benefited from tank construction. I have many friends. I have shifted from staying in a grass-hatched house to an iron-roofed house and I have managed to construct a tank at my residence and managed to educate my children from the salary I earn as a manson. However, Mansons face a number of challenges. Men always come wanting to see how a woman can construct a water tank. The challenge is that I don't have an overall coat. I feel shy climbing as men stare at me. I have to wait until they leave. The problem I have faced with this work is little payment. I request, if possible, to increase our salary. It is too little. At the end of the project, 640 tanks were ready for use. 3,738 households benefited and 37 disadvantaged homes assisted with the use of the community cash contribution. We, we no longer have councillors coming, They're like we are out of stress, we have no water. At least there is some improvement, like I carry alone, we were below 40. Access to clean water was below 40, 40 percent. But now up to 80% people can access water. One of the benefits of this project was the building of capacities. We built the capacities of NGOs within those three districts to promote the rainwater harvesting. So if we can build the capacities of more NGOs within the sector, I think that can help in scaling up the rainwater harvesting. Technology. The rainwater has changed the lives of households in the regions that benefited. Chewing or trekking for water has been eliminated amongst these communities. In fact, the way it has helped me so much in so many things. The general cleanness of the home has been improved. Sickness. It is now a rare case that we go to the hospital clinic. The dry season comes, but still our water remains in, there in the tank. So I, I, use, I utilize that water to water to, for watering my, my plants. However, 
construction had challenges. In some regions like Rakai district, the bills of quantities were changed because procurement of construction materials was hard. There are some requirements as in terms of the funding agencies demands that procurement guidelines had to be followed and some of these partners this was a new practice to them. There was lack of lake sand for those beneficiaries to construct the tanks and the they were requesting that this sand should be contributed by the project, but according to the project design, it was supposed to be contributed by the beneficiary, so there was that problem also. Life has improved amongst these households. We used to fetch water from very far. In case I economize the water, it can last for six months. I use the water for my chicken and watering crops. And whenever there is a shortage of water, I'm not affected. When I'm cooking, I just draw water from the tank. I'm no longer worried of the distance to the well. I also use the water to feed my poultry, goats and washing. There was also an element of improved household income. Some households, because there was no element of sharing, some households started selling this water to the neighboring households who didn't have the tank. So in the process, they had some little income, a jerkan, like we had in Kamwenga, a jerkan was costing them 500. So in a dry spell, this home sells some water and they can meet some basic needs in a home. The community members were very, very happy with this project. Other than providing them with clean and safe water, they became better managers of these tanks. As more households and communities continue to suffer consequences of bad weather, more is still needed. If we can build the capacities of more NGOs within the sector, I think that can help in scaling up the rainwater harvesting technology. Then also building the capacities of the local mansions. If this can be uh, embraced by the district local government, these local Muslims can provide the same service at a lower cost. And uh, uh, with that arrangement, we can only be able to put up around 10 every financial year. So we shall do that, we shall continue with the, the arrangement, because it is doing well where it is. Clean water is essential for human survival in communities of water scarcity.